Right, back uh, in the launchpad, that's where we left off earlier. We went to GitHub and download CLI and so on. Let's scroll down, tick the box. Yes, I am keeping my mnemonic phrase. Very safe. Okay, now this is um, where we have to upload the deposit file we've just created uh, in the co command line interface, the black window. So this is the USB stick. And in the launchpad key creation folder, there's that folder, and this is the new folder with the two files in. And I have now replaced those files with the real ones. You know, I've showed you to just demo the fake ones, but I put in my real ones. So drag it in. And uh, now, because they are the real ones, I can just carry on and show you properly um, how it's how it's working on mainnet. Hit continue, and now. Uh, it wants us to connect to MetaMask. So let's do that. This is the one I want to connect. It has 32 ETH in there already. And it says, uh, so now it says, it tells me that this website can see the account balance and activity just going on. So, and we approve of that. Yes, let's do it. I'm going to speed this up now a little bit. So it tells us that we are in mainnet. Uh, it would be Prata otherwise. And we have ETH in there. Make sure it's a little bit more than 32 because of the gas costs. Now there's a summary. Um, again, check carefully and especially the deposit uh, contract address. That is where we're gonna send the money that we were gonna send the 32 ETH check the boxes and then it reveals the address there at the bottom and that's the address we're going to check uh with the well with the address metamask will present to us so that we're absolutely sure that it's going to the right address okay here is a bit confusing because it has conform confirm deposit and send deposit it's a bit confusing you know in the end i went i went for confirm deposit but i was a bit confused here okay once we hit the button uh, metamask opens and this is the contract address this is the one we have to double check and i'm going to put it in my address book uh, and, and then that way i can also check the address once i click on it i can copy to clipboard and I'm opening Notepad here to uh, to paste the address in, and then this is the address we have to check it against. And we can see it's the same address, except there are a few capital letters in there. But that doesn't matter. It is the same address, and capital that's just a, a checksum. Um, not not sure why why MetaMask doesn't doesn't. Uh, show the right address with the checksum but it's the same letters the same numbers it means it's the right address so here i'm checking the gas fees and uh, it's quite exp expensive at the moment because it's a monday afternoon or something um, and uh, eventually i confirm it then my trezor opens and uh, now i have to interact with the trezor to confirm um, the transaction in metamask so it's all weirdly worded x port key and things but that's what you have to do so that trezor can see the keys and uh, then sign it here i'm just signing into trezor again i'm obfuscating the process um but i leave it in there so that you can see it and then it uh, is actually now signing the ethereum transaction uh, so which means it, it proves basically that the, that it should be sent and then i have to do the to check something on the Trezor device itself for security reasons. And after that, transaction started. So that's good. Let's check what happens. Oh, the 32 ETH went out. It says pending. And uh, if we're lucky, boom, transaction successful. Right. Excellent. So now we can go to uh, double check it on Beacon Chain. <clears throat> a bit weird that it didn't do the send deposit or that we don't have to do that. So it's, I'm still not quite sure what was that with the con 
confirm. Anyway, so if we um, click on Beacon Chain, we can um, have a look at it. Uh, that's what it, lo it looks like, it's pending. That's what it's supposed to be. We, if you go to Beacon Scan, there it says there in the middle up to 15.77 hours more um, it will be pending. So nearly a day, we have to be patient. So let's say what it says uh, here. Yeah, that's just a few checklists. Uh, what we, um, well, a lot of things we've done already and others it uh, uh, prompts us uh, still to do. Uh, namely the, the monitoring, whether we've done the monitor, monitoring, we, which we haven't done really yet, but uh, oh, I, well, I have, but I haven't showed you. And down here, it reminds us of uh, simulations we should do, as in sort of just restart the beacon node and see what happens, and then uh, simulate a power loss, as in just pull out the power cord, see what happens. So make sure it all comes up again. But now let's head back to that node.